So I'm going to have a fry up this evening. This is old mashed potatoes, some eggs, tomatoes, and an apple, butter, and some lovely dry smoked rashers. So this is the beginning of my supper tonight. This is the raw ingredients. So the two eggs, tomatoes, mashed potatoes, apple, and the rashers. So the first thing that I tend to do is do a decent chunk of butter onto the frying pan. That's two chunks of butter. And a very loud dog. You're very loud. You're very loud. <laughs> oh, you're embarrassed now. Okay. So, back to the job at hand. Melting this down, I'll need to open the hot plate. I'm not doing this very well with one hand. So, opening the hot plate, putting that in there, and allowing the butter to melt. Then the next thing to do is chop that all up. In that is um, potatoes, salt, pepper, butter, and a little bit of milk, touch of milk in that. And crack a whole egg. There we go. And then mix it all in. Mix the whole egg all the way in to the mashed potatoes. This is mashed potatoes I had yesterday. So this is a delicious way to use up the last of your mashed potatoes, is to make them into potato cakes. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, the first thing I did was, after I mixed the egg in, was I made three little patties of the uh, potato cakes with the egg in it. Um, next, oh, next I'm gonna put the rashers on. So these are nice big rashers. Then I'm going to put some of, because I want the flavor of the apple to get in with the rashers. So I'll put these apples around the place. There's lots of butter in there. So that's going to sizzle away now. Get the butter to wash around. And the, um, see the rashers are popping up. Mmm, this is going to be so good. So the trick is, whoops, finding out, so you want it to be golden brown, the apple, before you turn it over. But the rashers need more turning over. Oh, it's not ready yet. Apple's not ready yet. 
And if the apple's not ready, those won't be ready yet. So the tomatoes and the rest of the apples are waiting to go in. I don't, I only have this much space. Actually, the rashers are beginning to come down a little, so I'll be able to put another apple in. Actually, no, I won't, because then when I'm flipping the potato cakes, it might not work so well. Because there might not be room. Oops, that's going to have to flip. That needs to flip. Um, apples have been flipped, the potato cakes have been flipped, more apple has been added, and the rashers have been piled up on the side so that their juices just keep melting in to the rest of the, to the, rest of the dish. So I flip them every once in a while, maneuver, maneuver them about. So there we go. Ooh, looking good, looking good. Yes, you're looking good too. Yeah, yeah. But this is my supper, not yours. As the dish cooks, those that are bits that are cooked are put in the top left hand oven. So those are some of the apple and the rashers. And now it's the tomatoes. And the last thing that'll be going in are the eggs. The longest, the thing that tastes the longest are the potato cakes. So this is the, um, you want to get up there. Oh, look, you're up there. And you wanted to get up there, didn't you? It's just not fair for puppies. No, not fair for puppies. Anyway, I add in a bit more butter because the potato cakes, you want them to be lovely and brown. And the potato cakes soak up all the butter. So it's best to um, just allow the butter to um, add more butter all the time. <laughs> oh. oh, this is just too sweet. <laughs> I interrupted it, didn't I? Oh. Anyway, back to cooking my supper. So I think the uh, this is the last apple I put in, so it might be ready to turn. Oh yes, it is ready to turn. There we go. Oh, I better start turning the. What are those things called? Tomatoes. Okay, I better turn this off so I can concentrate what I'm doing. So I've arranged it all now, and the egg, I'm gonna make some of the juice up. Okay, I need to add a bit more butter. Put that bit of butter in there. Now these bits here, they're not onions. If I had some onions, I'd have done them as well. Those are bits of the rasher fat that I'm leaving in to add to the flavor. Okay, now that bit has melted down lovely. So now, the egg. Because it, you can see it's cooking pretty quickly, the egg. I'll put that lid on there. And the next thing is plating it up and eating it. I'd say that's probably done. So I'm going to take out the rashers and apples. And 
Ooh, the egg looks quite done. Hopefully I haven't overdone it. So, the potato cake, it's falling apart. And another potato cake. Some tomatoes. An egg. More apple and tomatoes. And a third potato cake. Now, some of this stuff is really good here as well. Super. And there we go. Fry a real fry up. Potato cakes, fried apples, rashers, tomatoes. I should have some onions and an egg. Now, in fairness, only the egg and the apples are homegrown. Everything else is locally sourced. Wexford potatoes. The butter is from a farm, I think, in Tipperary. And the tomatoes are from another Kilkenny farm. So that's, oh, and the, the pig is a free range pig. So, uh, yeah. So this is me super. And I'm gonna have it with some hot whiskey. Yum, 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 really good meal.